According to Dr. Blanchett, being a medical director means that the nursing home is your patient. There's nothing wrong with this, but guys, it's just not my jam. For most physicians, being a doctor is like being a mechanic. We like helping individual patients in the same way that mechanics like tuning up individual vehicles. People who want to help large swaths of patients often choose other career paths. Take biomedical engineering. The man who invented the bovie has helped more people than I'll meet in my lifetime. Or take politics. As a politician, you can potentially expand healthcare and save millions of lives. But I wouldn't want to do these things as a job. But Matthew, you say? Isn't it objectively better to want to help greater volumes of people? Maybe? But let's take a look at the scene from Kenshin. Lord Yamagata, the leader of the Japanese army, has been searching for Kenshin, the protagonist, for 10 years. Yamagata offers Kenshin a government job and explains that Kenshin could do a lot of good from an official position. Kenshin declines the offer, but Yamagata insists. You must realize that one man with one sword cannot hope to make any difference in the new world. And Kenshin retorts. Even if it's only the handful of people I happen to meet on the street or in my home, I can still protect them with one sword. So, yeah, I don't like being a medical director because my moral compass comes from the cartoons I watched as a kid. Okay, so what does a medical director actually do? There are some people in my department who will tell you that the medical director's job is to transform the nursing home into a fun place to live by revitalizing it with entertainment, music, pets, delicious food. Guys, I'm going to stop you right there. Geriatrics is an interprofessional field, and you are not Tipa Snow. You have team members who are in charge of making your nursing home more livable. By all means, you should know what they're doing, and you can give them advice if they ask, but they're not your employees. So don't micromanage, and don't give unsolicited advice, because no one appreciates Wait, why are you all looking at me like that? So, according to CMS, medical directors are responsible for implementing resident care policies and... Wow, this sounds really bo- uh, Okay, different organization. According to the American Medical Directors Association, medical directors have four major roles, including physician leadership, which involves being a role model, performance expectations, physician credentialing, uh... There are nine functions of medical directors, including administrative stuff like policies and procedures, professional services like the credentialing policy, quality assurance and performance improvement. Okay, I give up. Guys, I I'm not going to lie. For the first three and a half years at my job, being an associate medical director was the second worst part of my job. And it doesn't help that some nursing homes only have medical directors just so they can check off a government requirement and prefer to keep them uninvolved rather than embracing their expertise and experience. You'll be okay. And to some facilities, quality improvement is about documenting that they're providing good care rather than actually acknowledging and fixing problems. Bizarrely enough, it wasn't until the COVID-19 pandemic came up and facilities started asking me a lot of questions that I truly saw the value of being a medical director. So, admittedly, while I'd characterize it as a side salad and not the main course, it's still an important and meaningful part of my job. Any questions from the chat? Okay, so it sounds like all of you want to watch more Kenshin.